He is the man behind WikiLeaks. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of Julian Assange. Julian Paul Assange was born on July 3rd, 1971, in Queensland, Australia. As a result of his nomadic family life, he attended many schools as a teenager. At the age of 16, he started hacking under the name Mendax. In the early 1990s, Assange was charged with illegally accessing information from the computer systems of several organizations. However, he was released on good conduct after paying a small fine. He began programming and developing free software in 1994. For example, he wrote the first free open-source port scanner, Strobe, and co-created a deniable encryption archive called Rubber Hose. After dropping out of university, Assange became the editor-in-chief of WikiLeaks in 2006. The non-profit organization was set up to allow global sources to anonymously submit information that would otherwise be held private or classified. Such information was usually ethical, political, or historical in nature, and was then released to the public, often through WikiLeaks' official site. As its director, Assange had the final say on what was published and also made public appearances on the organization's behalf. Notable early leaks included information about the alleged illegal activities of Swiss bank Julius Baer in the Cayman Islands, details from secret Scientology books, and emails from American politician Sarah Palin's personal account. In 2009, WikiLeaks published suspicious internal documents from Kelthink Bank that had circulated prior to Iceland's financial crisis. It also brought to light particulars from a report concerning the dumping of toxic waste on the Ivory Coast. These leaks did not go unnoticed. In fact, in 2010, WikiLeaks posted a report that revealed the U.S. Department of Defense was discussing the prevention of leaks by the organization. That was also the year that footage from a 2007 airstrike in Baghdad was released, along with documents from earlier in the decade that related to the war in Afghanistan. Later on, approximately 400,000 classified documents pertaining to the Iraq War were leaked. In November 2010, WikiLeaks began publishing over 250,000 diplomatic cables from American embassies around the globe. These confidential messages dealt with various subjects, including the politics of numerous countries, nuclear weapons, and Middle Eastern tensions, for example. The highly publicized leak received mixed reactions. While some government officials criticized WikiLeaks, supporters hailed Assange as a hero. Shortly thereafter, the U.S. Department of Justice initiated a criminal investigation into the affair. By the end of the year, Assange faced legal and financial troubles. This caused him to sell the publishing rights to his autobiography for almost $2 million. Around the same time, Swedish police issued a warrant for Assange's arrest and extradition from Britain. This was for sexual crimes he had allegedly committed in Sweden in 2010. Assange later appealed this decision. He continued to make public appearances over the next year. WikiLeaks also shared secret files connected to the Guantanamo Bay detention camp in 2011. Though some have accused Assange of being a criminal and even a terrorist, others have lauded his whistleblowing efforts and deemed him a champion of free speech. Despite detractors, Julian Assange has received several awards. In 2009, he was awarded the Amnesty International UK Media Award about the extrajudicial murders in Kenya. Even after the United States diplomatic cables leak, he was recognized with accolades such as the 2011 Martha Gellhorn Prize for Journalism. While his methods and philosophies are widely disputed, there is no denying that Julian Assange has already impacted world politics and will surely further affect what is to come.